Right, this is what we're going to make today. A Brazilian chicken pot pie. Right, let's keep cooking. Good morning and welcome back to my channel. My name's John and today we'll be making a Brazilian chicken pot pie. So we're back on the road in, well not in South America, but uh, we've been looking at food from Peru, Chile and Ecuador. And uh, now we're having a look at Brazilian food. Um, so without further ado, let's get these, uh, this onion and garlic into that pan and get cooking. Right, just a quick splash of extra virgin olive oil. Right, in with the onions and we're going to cook those for around about 10 minutes till they're soft. Right, now in with our garlic and our chicken which I've chopped up and didn't put you through <laughs> having to watch that. So these are chicken thigh boneless skinless cutlets that I've chopped up. We'll ground these and then we'll get going on the next part of the recipe. Right, I hope you can hear me over this. In with the olive. In with the tomato. In with our peas. Just give that a stir to quiet it down. There we go, now you can hear me. <laughs> um, we've got half a can of, this is cream style sweet corn. Pop that in there. Give it a stir up. When you're frying off your chicken, after you've immediately after it's browned, be sure to drain any fat off because you'll be wanting to put some um, stock in there. Right, now before we put our stock in, just going to put a bit of flour in there and this will help to thicken things up a bit. So let's stir the flour in and let it cook for two or three minutes. Right now, then with our tomato paste. About three teaspoons should do it. One tablespoon of sweet chilli sauce. And about a cup of chicken stock. Now, turn this right down. And we're just going to let that simmer until we've got a nice thick gravy. Then we can fill our pies. And of course, our parsley. Just pop that in. And now we'll get the pastry ready. Right. Now before we start, we'll just flour the surface a bit. And this is the part that will be going into the pie dish, so... You don't want it sticking. And there's our... I don't know whether you can see that. No, you can't see that, can you? <laughs> These are our little pie dishes. 
Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is when I do cut these, I'm going to cut them a little bit larger, about a centimetre over diameter because of course they're going to have to fit in to the base of these pie dishes. It's quite thick pastry so there's plenty to work with. Go. We've got the flour in there already. So we'll work that in and then we'll come back. So I'll just show you how to do this. Push it into the corners and then as you're pushing it into the corners work the pastry to the edge. Just like that. Alright. One, that one's ready. Right. Now, they're going to fill and seal the pies. Now don't overfill these. You want to go just level with the top of the pie dish. Don't try and go beyond there otherwise it will squirt out the sides and it'll make a right old mess. Right and just gently push these in there to leave a wee impression and then go around with your fork and crimp it. Rightio. And let's just trim the sides. some cuts in there to let it breathe and then a bit of egg wash which is one egg beaten up with a tablespoon of water brush that lightly across the top and then into the oven right and here's our four pies I'm just going to egg wash them now the oven's on heating up and we'll pop these in. I've got them in at 180 degrees. I'm cooking them in the bottom part of the oven because I want that base pastry to cook. I don't want it soggy, otherwise the contents of the pie will fall out the bottom. And we'll have a look at them after 35 minutes. normally will be enough. Okay, that should be a lovely golden brown colour when they come out now. And there you have it, straight out of the oven. We're going to have a, a wee bite of this and see what it tastes like. Okay, let's cut into this. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Oh, lots of beautiful gravy and crust. Mmm. Oh, that is perfect. Well, Thank you for watching and I hope you'll cook this and I will catch you on the next recipe.